simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So many of us struggle a lot while creating a title for our videos, for YouTube, for a short film or a movie or anything that we are making and sometimes it ends up looking pretty crappy. So that is the same reason why many of these Hollywood films and blockbuster movies are using very simple and minimalistic fonts for the titles and it creates a very appealing and cinematic look. As I told you, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Today I'm gonna show you 5 simple ways in which you can create cinematic looking titles and make it look amazing. And I will also be giving away 5 of my best looking fonts that I've come across. So links in the description guys. Alright, so let's jump into Premiere Pro and get started. So the first video is a video from Umiam Lake that I've taken in Shilong. And I will drop a text and type Umiam Lake. And I'll reset the position to the center. And then I'll go to Essential Graphics and then align the text to the center. Once that is done, I will turn off Uniform Scale and put 90% in the Horizontal Scale. And then again align the text to the center. Then I'll put keyframes in the position and the horizontal scale. Then I'll go to the last frame and change the horizontal scale in the last frame to 110. And then again align the text to the center. And this is how it will look after that animation. So next we will zoom into the text. And take the pen tool. And create a line. And make it straight. And then from the essential graphics we can change the width of the stroke. To our desired look. In our case, we will use only three. Then we pre-comp the line layer. Then go to the scale and remove the and remove the uniform scale and change the width of the scale to zero. And put a keyframe in the starting point. And the end of the clip, we will increase the width of the scale to hundred. Then we drop a cross dissolve transition. To the beginning of the clip so that the line appears gradually. Once that is done, we will pre comb the top two layers and then again in the first frame, we will scale down to 95% and in the end of the clip, we will scale up to 105%. And now if we look at the animation, this is what it looks. So next we have this video where we have done some stabilization and some grading. Then we'll create a text and type good morning. And then we will reset the position. And from essential graphics, we will align this to the center. Once done, then we'll go to the pen tool and make a rectangle around the text. And then we will recenter the rectangle and from strokes we will keep stroke as 5. And then we will nest the sequence. We will apply a cross dissolve on both the top layers. And then we will reduce the length of the rectangle box slightly. So the text appears first and then the box appears. We will again nest the two layers. And again, apply a skill. And then apply a skill animation in the first frame and the last frame. Yeah, and that's it. For the next one, it is very interesting and easy to create. For this, you will require After Effects. So right click on the clip and click on Replace with After Effects Composition. Once you click on this, it will open After Effects if you have installed in your system. And first it will ask you to save the file. And then when you save the file, it will automatically open the clip in After Effects. We'll select the text tool and type in the title. For this clip, we will be tracking the red tree. And that is the reason why I'm placing the text right next to the red tree. Then I will pre-compose this layer by right clicking on the clip and selecting pre-compose. Then select the base layer which is your clip and we will track motion. We need to track the position and also the scale. There will be two track points which will appear on the screen. One will place just above 
the red tree and next tracker will put it on some other tree which is on the same plane and same depth and then I'll hit on analyze forward once the analyze is done we will select edit target and we will select the text layer which is the red tree comp 1 and then hit ok and we want the motion in both an x and y direction so we will select an x and y but you'll notice that the text position has changed so in order to get the text in the old position just use the anchor point and move it to the position and now you can see the text is tracked to the tree so this is another interesting and fun way to create the title so I have this video here and I have created a text and I have scaled the text then I'll select the text layer and under FX control I'll click onto the pen tool to create a mask and then I'll create a mask with a lot of points all around the text then I'll move to the last frame and put a key on mask path then I'll go to the first frame and start changing the mask randomly in all directions so that the whole text is covered just like this and when we play the clip we can see the text is appearing randomly we can tweak this mask by increasing the mask feather and also controlling the mask opacity and that is it as simple as that so here i have a sunset time lapse which i took in bali and there is also a second clip which is longer than the first clip and it is placed overlapping with the first clip then we'll create some text and then scale it position it and make it big and place it in the center so here you can see i have placed all three layers overlapping with each other exactly in this manner then we'll split the second layer into two different clips then we'll search in effects track mat key and we'll apply it on the first part of the second clip so this tool track mat key is used to cut one layer with the alpha of the other layer so in this case i will be using the text alpha to cut the buddha video so in here mat i'll change it to the third layer which is a text layer i'll select layer 3 and then i'll apply a cross dissolve in between these two clips to create a smooth transition and that is it and simple and a fun way to create an amazing title there you go i hope you really like this video and if you do don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with your friends and keep watching my videos i'll be sharing more of these tutorials and how to make videos so till then see ya take care